I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Zach. And we're traveling A to Z. This week we're diving Devil's Den, Florida. So right now we are heading to Devil's Den, which is a cave, a sinkhole in Florida outside of Williston, Florida. We're almost there. We're going to go check it out. It's crazy. We're driving in this farmland. Grass, beautiful green grass. There's horses around and stalls and Entering Devil's Den. Welcome to Devil Den Springs. So behind me you can see the entrance to the sinkhole. This is the entrance to the Devil's Den diving site which has snorkeling and diving. We just went diving there. It was pretty neat. We'll show you video. Um, this, in the old days, the, uh, the settlers saw a plume of vapor coming up in the cold water, and so they called it the Devil's Den and Devil's Hell because of that. And uh, in the 1990s, this used to be a small little hole which they opened up so it allowed better access. It's 120 feet wide. To go down, it's 54 feet deep, and they have different um, stations underwater so you could uh, basically learn how to dive. It's actually a pretty, it would be a pretty good dive site to learn. It's, it's pretty neat. So this is the entrance to Devil's Den to either go snorkeling or diving. You head down a narrow stairwell into a sinkhole. The area then opens up and you can see it's lit by the hole from the sun. At the end of the stairwell, there's a platform where you could be in the water, and that's where a lot of the snorkelers hang out, and that's where the divers start. We are going diving. Bye. So when you get to this location, you could rent snorkel or dive gear. If you want to snorkel, you actually have to reserve it ahead of time, but if you want to dive, you could just show up and pretty much rent the gear and go diving whenever you want. You actually go diving on your own, you have to be dive certified. Uh, you won't get lost, it's more of just a circle and you can see it's pretty rocky and very dark, so you have to use a flashlight. This is the sinkhole from inside looking out, and this is the sinkhole from the outside looking in. Okay, so below you can see the sinkhole and the entrance to the Devil's Den. You can see all the snorkelers. Yeah, you look at this, and it just looks like somebody's pretty garden with a patio. You would never know. There's a big sinkhole and a diving site down there. Look at that. Thank you for visiting Devil's Den Springs. So this was a pretty cool dive. We ended up going around like five times. It's pretty safe, pretty open. Like you could go through little caves and tunnel things, but they're only like five feet maybe in uh, length. It goes down to 54 feet. You could always see the center though, so you could always find the air. After about one or two times around though, I was getting a little bored. So it's, it's cool. But uh, I'm glad we did it. I don't know if I actually need to do it again though. So what do you think, babe? Uh, it was pretty neat. Uh, diving in a sinkhole, not something you do all the time. Um, yeah, limestone kind of is pockmarked. So there's a lot of really interesting patterns on the rocks. Oh, and fossils. And fossils, yeah, it was fun. And we saw some fish and a turtle, uh, like a foot maybe a foot size turtle diameter. It's actually pretty big. I wasn't able to get video of it because it was so fast and I have no idea where it went. Apparently his name is George. George? Norman. Norman. I think the turtle's name is Norman. I, I, can, I can see Norman. I can see the look of that. Yeah, maybe. So now we are gonna go and find our accommodations. We're staying really close to the Devil's Den. We're staying at the Two Hawks Hammock which is affiliated with the Devil's Den. It's supposed to be like a little guest house. So. We are at Two Hawks Hammock Guest House, 
And apparently we're the only guests. Um, so this is our room. It's room one. We'll give you a tour of the house. It's pretty cute. It's simple. Little bathroom. Or guest room. Oh wow. And then they have bunk beds up above. They have a kitchen. Basically an Airbnb. It's it's kind of a bed and breakfast without the breakfast. Another little bedroom. Two Hawks hammock bed four. Ah, oh, they have a lot of rooms. This is a cute little place. They have a nice little, little rooms and bathrooms and yeah. I think they did a good job. Nice. Not bad for the middle of nowhere in Florida. And some animals where there's a barn and horses and dogs and a hammock in the back that you can go find. Our next stop is the Tampa Bay Aquarium. Please subscribe below to follow more of our adventures.